your time and attention Won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would be. I start to lose that. That's a good, good step. But when I see my friends, I see them with this first meal in California. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be? We got all of our suitcases here. And we are posted up for the next few hours. I am just going to finish editing some YouTube and then we will go catch a train at 3 p.m. Is that how my life would be? Is that how my life would be? And often we're reminded to enjoy each day and find it in ourselves to show some gratitude for every moment through and through. I try so hard to just be present. Mom will slip the other lessons. I can't help but wonder, but I guess I'll never know it. What the other book looks like. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if that was me? If I'd stay. on our way to Santa Barbara right now. We've been on the train for probably, I think an hour. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit longer. Maybe a little bit yeah. longer. And we probably have maybe an hour left to go. Mm -hmm. So we're so excited. We're on our way and we'll be there very soon. Yeah. We're so exhausted. It's been a very oh long travel day and it's been like a lot of back and forth and waiting around, but it's been such a good day. And so I think we're gonna go to the beach first yes. thing. Oh my gosh, we're I'm so excited. We wanna go get yeah. some food. We're and literally starving. We have not eaten since 9 a.m. California time. California time. Yeah, so we're, and it's <laughs> times right now it's four. I know it doesn't sound like that long, but we woke up at we woke we'll up at 4.30. 4 4 30. We went to bed at 11.30. So like, yes. yeah, we're not, we're not feeling the we're, best. We're, we're, we're tired. a little zombie mode right but now. But I feel like that's how yeah. travel days, they yeah. always go. Yeah. They're always just like long days, but we're so excited to finally be in Santa Barbara and we're gonna go. We were, we're really craving pizza, so we wanna grab pizza so and maybe so take good. it to the beach. So we'll kind of see how it plays out, but we'll take y'all along. Yeah, so excited, see y'all later. But there's not to say that I'm not happy with my life this way. <laughs> at a coffee shop in Santa Barbara today and it is our official first day here in California and we are going to be spending this entire week in Santa Barbara, California which I'm so excited about and I actually wanted to share just like a really sweet God story with y'all this morning so when we were at this coffee shop this morning I actually ended up running into a sweet friend of mine that I've actually only met once in Austin and just the odds of running into someone from home in California 
is just so sweet and so divine and I just really see the Lord's hand on this trip already. The Lord is just so sweet and allowing me to meet and encounter someone I know and just to feel so incredibly at home in California. So I also wanted to share a little bit of my heart about this trip and just the reason why I wanted to come on this trip and why I just feel like there is immense significance behind coming to California and all that it signifies for me. California is actually a place I've never been to which is so funny because so many people have always said how much I would love California but I had never been and for some reason I just feel like coming to California is something that I've deeply desired to do for a really long time but especially like I've expressed with you guys in this season I just feel like this anticipation in my spirit that God is doing something new in my life and so I feel like in all of the changes that have been going on and the things that I've been sharing with you guys, I just see California as another thing that is really about to pivot me in my season of life. California being a place I've never been before, I feel like the Lord is inviting this newness even in where I'm going and even locations I'm surrounding and immersing myself in. And the Lord is just really kind to impress this trip upon my heart for a while now and for me to be here and to like, begin experiencing what God already has in store it feels really sweet and just really exciting. I'm just so expected that this trip was authored and desired, placed on my heart as a desire my heart to be so much more than just a trip for fun and, and a trip to like enjoy all this beautiful stuff. But stuff I know it's like the Lord really impressing on my heart that newness is coming and that he's inviting that newness not just in my spirit but also in my environment and so I'm just so like I said expectant that the Lord is really going to give me eyes to see and ears to hear what he wants to show me during this time here in Santa Barbara so I'm super just excited for what the Lord does have next and I'm excited to take you guys along and give y'all just a glimpse of what this time is going to look like and of course as always like I love inviting y'all into all of the sweet moments and showing you guys those glimpses but I'm so excited to also have so many moments that I get to just cherish with myself and just get to give but or just get to have between the Lord and I and my friend Lara is also here with me so it's super sweet to just be able to experience this together and have her companionship while I'm on this trip so I'm so excited you guys like praise praise the Lord I'm just uh I'm so excited for what God's gonna do but I'm gonna go back inside and just enjoy a slow morning at the coffee shop maybe go read a book and then probably go to brunch somewhere at some point so I'll take y'all along but as always I love y'all so much and yeah here we go Santa Barbara Walking back to our Airbnb, it has been our first official day in Santa Barbara and we were just walking around, going to all the shops, checking out downtown Santa Barbara and I told you guys earlier just about the divine encounter with a friend earlier today from Austin which is so crazy to like find a friend from home here in Santa Barbara but we're on our way home, it's been a long day, it's probably around my watch is still in Austin time, but it's probably around 4.45. Also, I wanted to just share about the sweetness of the Lord today because I just feel like so far already in being in California, like Laura and I have both had had such divine encounters mm -hmm. with people. And I think it's just really been such an encouragement to also like remember the authority that we do have in Jesus and just being very present and cognizant of the people around us because yeah. we've already had so many encounters with people so many. Yeah. and just like sweet moments where the Lord has just really already used us in such miraculous ways whether it's like Laura speaking up 
or me speaking up. Yeah. And I think it's just been such a reminder so far, literally on day one. Yeah. <laughs> just how divine the Lord is and how much authority our voice carries. And so that's just been such an encouragement. I'm just so expectant that this entire week in California yeah. is going to be full of so many divine and holy encounters and that the Lord is just like extending this invitation that he wants to use us here yeah. for much more than just like having fun and going to the beach and taking beautiful pictures, but like also to really impact people mm -hmm. and the kingdom. So yeah, and I would, I would actually love to share that story of what happened today. Yeah. About that. So Brie and I were at a delicious little restaurant for brunch and we had a waiter who was so sweet had yeah. really just good energy and we were talking about just how sweet he was and then when he came back to the table i was like so like how are you doing today and he told us shared with us that he was having an awful day and yeah. brie and i were just able to encourage him and just love on him and let him know that good's to come in his life and just like the shift in his attitude and face was so so sweet and like what yeah. you said to him too brie i feel like really was impactful on him yeah i think it was really sweet because i mean laura you use your authority like in jesus to just have like a voice and like be kind towards him and i just really like encouraged him and even like challenged him to like call upon the name of jesus yeah. and of course there's so many more details to that story but it was just really really it was, impactful it was, it was really really special and yeah it, i think too it was like a little heartbreaking just to like hear what he was going through because he was just sharing with us about his hard day and his things he had been going through with homelessness. Um, yeah. And so just to, for us both to be able to just remind him that there's so much more good to come in life and that God loves him and that he's not alone and yes. you know, having a hard season was really special. And I feel like it just united us and it felt- It really did. Yeah, it felt good to have that impact on him. And it also had an impact on me, like just, just the yes. fact that we could make him feel better. It was just, it was also encouraging. Yeah. Uh, so yes. So a reminder special. today, you guys, mm -hmm. if you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, yeah. use your voice and use your authority in Jesus. And also like, I'm so confident and so expectant. Like I said, that the Lord's going to use us so much on this trip and there's going to be a million moments for you guys to watch that are going to be documented, but there are also going to be a million more that are going to be so sacred and just for us to keep and cherish and like yes. to be reminded of the faithfulness yep. of the Lord. So Completely. Just wanted to invite you guys into that and share y'all, share with y'all those like moments because they're so impactful and I pray that you guys can like also receive the impact of what the Lord is doing yeah. through our sharing. So yeah, but yeah we just got back to our Airbnb. I feel like we might just chill for a little bit. We'll definitely we got, chill. got some plantain chips. We also got some cheese it so we're just gonna <laughs> hang out a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
you guys good morning i am currently on a little solo walk this morning at the beach you might be able to very well hear the beach just crashing behind me but i woke up early this morning and we hadn't been to the beach yet so i wanted to just go take myself on a little morning solo walk and go figure out where the beach is and i can sure enough say that it is so beautiful and so today is another day in Santa Barbara. We have no plans, like this trip is pretty much all completely unplanned. No agenda, nothing that we're like really putting on the to-do list to do. Just really wanting to like embrace every single day and just kind of take it by ear and just kind of tune in with ourselves and our spirits to see what we want to do ultimately. So I'm not too sure what today holds, but all I have to say is that this morning has been a sweet one so far. Cheers. There's nothing in this world that we can't do. Flowers even mad about it. Cause they can't blow like you don't. I don't see a way around it. Cause everything has led me straight to you. It's nothing new. Baby, I'm outside. Been thinking about you all night. Been thinking it ain't right if you and me. Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Not in focus. <laughs> not in focus at all. We're twins today. We got our cappuccinos. They're so good. We got our little mm -hmm. hat. The baseball caps. We got like our white top. Our, yeah, our white hats. And we have shorts. Yeah. They're the same. shorts. And our white sneakers. And our white sneakers. So we're very twenty. And with the vlog cameras. Too. And our vlog cameras. <laughs> like literally, yeah. Literally one of the same. Super, super fun enough today. Cheers. It's sunny at most days. Never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way And maybe you should stay instead of turning around So, but you keep on going I know that you can keep open, open But you'll be okay Don't stay So many reasons you should care 